Hi guys, welcome back. As you probably know, I do a lot of uh, dry fly fishing for brown trout here in the south of Ireland. Um, so I want to make a video today about my five favourite dry flies. So guys, I'm going to start off first with number five on the list, the Foamback Daddy. This is a great fly during the end of the season, usually around um, September, October time. It's particularly on the lakes, it's a, it's a fantastic fly. Especially when the crane fly is dropping down on the lakes and the trout are coming up. What I really like about the Foamback Daddy is its ability to float. Um, how I fish this fly is I cast out as far as I can and I give it small retrieves and stop. And what I'm doing is I'm trying to imitate a struggling crane fly on the surface that's trying to take off. The fish hone in on that and they grab it. It's a great little fly. Number four on the list is the elk hair caddis. This is a fantastic fly and I use this a lot in the evening time, during the evening hatch. A lot of rivers in the south of Ireland and England have an abundance of caddis. And these flies usually start coming up heavy around the evening rise, right up to about 12 or 1 o'clock in the morning. Caddis usually come up heavy when the weather is really warm. So usually July and August are the best months for fishing caddis and rivers. And I find... Um, when the trout are feeding on, on caddis, the takes are really eager and explosive. The bigger fish will bulk up on eating caddis. It's a large insect. The elk hair caddis will be number four on my list. It's a great fly. It would not be without this fly in my box. Number three on the list is the Natural Quill CDC Emerger. This fly is absolutely lethal. Uh, the best time to use this fly is when the fish are barely nudging the top. When you get these small little rings on the top of the water, that's when they're taking something emerging on the top. What I've noticed with this fly as well, that there's no particular best time to use it uh, when they're feeding. Um, you could use this fly during the daytime, evening, early morning, and it'll catch you fish. The best months to use this fly would be when the weather is really warm. June, July, August are the ultimate times to use this. The Natural Quill CDC Emerger, number three on my list. I would not be without this in my fly box. Number two on my list, the Blue Winged Olive. This fly is fantastic, probably because it's abundant on many rivers, and I've caught a lot of good trout in this. I've caught trout in the daytime, um, in the afternoon, and the evening. Um, the heaviest hatches i found have been later on in the evening as the sun's going down. Um, the trout are well tuned into this fly, and they will take it if they're coming up on the surface. And how I fish this fly is traditional dry fly fishing method. You know, I'm casting a little bit upstream or maybe parallel to where the fish are. And I'm dead drifting the fly down past the trout. And of course the trout are really smart. They're going to cop if there's something up so you can't have any drag. Uh, presentation has to be crisp and clear. So yeah, the, the blue winged olive has consistently caught me brown trout in the river. Um, I wouldn't be without this fly in my box. It's uh, one of my top flies. So now we've come to number one on my list, the ginger quill. This is a great fly. I've caught fish all season round on this. Even in September, during the later end of the season, I've caught trout on this when things are getting cold. So uh, trout are very tempted with this fly. They like it. Um, how I fish this fly is I just dead drift it, traditional dry fly fishing method, and it works. What I'd say about this fly also is uh, fly size is really important. Um, I'd be going down to size 14, size 16. Anything bigger than that on the brown trout aren't going to take it. They're going to come up and they're going to swim away again. So I go size 14, size 16 definitely. So folks, uh, I'm going to conclude this video. I hope you enjoyed my five favourite dry flies. Uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a like. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask in the comments. And uh, until next time, tight lines.